I now recognize Mr. Mfume from Maryland for five minutes of questions. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. And by the way, no, we don't have it. So I get tired of hearing we've got it, and then when we ask for it, it's not there. We do not have it, Dr. Fauci, and for everyone watching this. That's just incorrect. Now, let me just say a couple of things. If I sound a little outraged, just because, you know, we sit here and we watch one conspiracy theory after another get debunked. And if I might, on a point of personal privilege, to the gentlewoman from New York who wanted to argue that we should be worrying about testing of human medicines on animals. If this committee really wants to do something, let's talk about the most infamous biomedical research study in the United States, the Tuskegee study, where 400 black men in this country were injected deliberately with syphilis and allowed to die slowly over a 40 year period without any attempt to help them at all. It was condoned by the U.S. Public Health Service. And if we want to talk about testing, let's talk about that as well. I'm going to talk about COVID right now. Mr. Chairman, point prep, point, I have the floor, Mr. Chairman. I want to suspend. say to you, Mr. Chairman. I ask and you to suspend, please. I want to remind the audience of decorum. Recognize Mr. Mfume. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I want to thank you and Ranking Member Ruiz for this opportunity. Um, Dr. Fauci, we owe you an apology for the way we have wrecked you through the mud. And none of us have said to you, here's where you go to get your good name and your reputation back. It's the most unfair thing I have seen. If there were evidence, if there were facts that supported the charges, I, like everybody else, would be interested, but we haven't seen a damn thing to suggest that these accusations are accurate. You've been a hero to many for 54 years, five plus decades. You helped lead this country through the anthrax scare, through AIDS, through Zika, through Ebola, through SARS, and through COVID-19, pandemics and epidemics. We owe you a collective thank you. You are a world-renowned scientist and an American patriot. And whether or not people want to believe that, that's on them. But those facts are undisputable. For a year and a half, the Republican majority on this committee has sought to weaponize genuine scientific questions over COVID-19 and to vilify, vilify our public health officials and our nation's scientists with unsubstantiated, with baseless, with allegations that just can't stand the light of day. And so they've tried to do that with COVID-19 and we are here now as a result of the aggregated amount of foolishness that has taken place. And I've always said to this committee, every time I've had a chance to speak, let's go back to when we were in the heart of the pandemic, when our family members and friends and coworkers were dying left and right, when we were afraid to get near anybody, where we wanted to wash down our groceries before we brought them into the house where we were willing to put on masks or headgear if it would keep us from being infected. And we turned to our leaders and the public health officials and scientists for answers. And we got some, but then we didn't get some. And then we got some later, like Dr. Deborah Burks, who was Donald Trump's expert on the virus, who said, no, bleach won't do it. Don't inject yourself with it. And who also said publicly on the record, that thousands of American lives could have been spared, spared if we had done what we were being told to do by the scientific community. At least one thing is clear. Those one million people who died as a result of these conspiracy theories will never come back. And those families have empty seats at the table year after year. And we do a disservice if at the very least we don't acknowledge their deaths and the harm and the hurt that has been done to their families and learn, learn how to find a way to trust science going forward in this country. <sighs> Dr. Fauci, you've been uh, accused over and over again of going to the CIA headquarters and sitting down and having a meeting with the CIA to construct a way to make sure that COVID raged in this country. Is that correct? That is incorrect. Dr. Fauci, have you been to the CIA office in the last 
20 years or headquarters. I went to the CIA uh, decades ago during the anthrax attacks to discuss uh, the possibility of terrorist attacks. Thank you. I want to, um, I wanted to get that on the record because that's just the latest theory now that you and the CIA director conspired. This is foolishness. People are not going to agree with you. I understand that. But we take and besmirch somebody's good name. Think about if it were one of us. We'd be jumping up and down trying to find a way to get justice. And so on behalf of those of us who are thankful, who are part of many in a grateful nation, thank you for your service, sir. I yield back. And I'll recognize Mr. Cloud from Texas for five minutes of questions. 